have you ever noticed that really low notes sound quite muddy and dissonant? While really high notes sound quite weak and feeble. Well, this is because of the overtone series. Our hearing range is from about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Anything below or above this range is inaudible to us. So if we play a really low note, say the note A at 55 hertz, then lots of overtones fall within our hearing range. Right, the first 20 harmonics only get us up to 1100 hertz, well within our hearing range. So when we play this low note, we are in fact hearing lots and lots of notes all at once. Although generally the first eight harmonics are the strongest and the rest get progressively weaker. Whereas if we play the highest note on the piano, C, at 4186 hertz, then we only hear four harmonics before the fifth one falls outside of our hearing range. So this note is relatively weak and simple. We only hear four frequencies instead of the scores that we heard with the low A note. So when you play a really low note, most of what we hear is actually the overtones of that note, especially because middle register frequencies sound louder to us than lower register frequencies, as I covered in a previous video on volume. And this is why low notes sound muddy whereas we hear very few overtones on high notes, and so they sound quite weak. But even though low notes are muddy and high notes are weak, they are still very important to the sound of a piano. The reason these notes exist on the piano is actually to add to the resonance of the middle notes. As I mentioned in a previous lesson, singing into a wine glass at its natural frequency can cause the wine glass to start vibrating and even break. This is because just like a vibrating object can create a particular note, the sound wave from that particular note can conversely cause the object to start vibrating. So playing a string in the middle of a piano causes other strings at the extreme top and extreme bottom to vibrate ever so slightly at the relevant frequency, which actually contributes to the sound of the middle notes and makes them richer and more interesting. For example, if you slowly press down the note C so that the hammer doesn't actually hit the string and you don't make any noise, and then you hit the note G quickly and loudly and staccato, then we will hear a harmonic of the note C ring out. The note G has caused a resonance in the note C. The vibrations of the, dare I say, G string caused the C string to begin vibrating, but only at a particular frequency. And this happens going up as well as going down. So striking the C string can cause the G string to begin vibrating. So when you play one single note on the piano, not only are you hearing lots of different frequencies from that single note, but you're also hearing lots of different frequencies from lots of different strings within the piano. And this is partly why recreating the sound of an acoustic piano on a digital piano is actually really difficult. Now, another reason lower notes on a piano sound muddy is because of something called inharmonicity, which is the subject of the next video.